Okay, welcome back. Um, right, this course is ba this um, lesson is uh, about um, where to find the NVIDIA plugin for Photoshop, um, and here it is. If you type in, if you go into Google and type NVIDIA, N V I D I R, um, Normals Map plugin, you'll find this page. There'll be a link to it anyway, and if you don't. Here's the website. It's developer developer.nvidia.com forward slash object forward slash Photoshop underscore DDS underscore plugins dot HTML. Um, I've actually got the plugin on my site over here. If you go up one, so you go to imaginationzone.net forward slash tutorials forward slash and take off the rest you'll go back into a root directory and I've included the Photoshop plugin there. It's an exe file so right click and save target as onto your desktop or whatever. But if you feel a bit uncomfortable with that, you think there might be viruses on it, there's not I assure you, but if you think there is then go to NVIDIA site and download it from there. Gives you the option of both. And you'll see, here it is and all you need to do is save it onto your desktop or run it from the video site and it should install automatically into your editing program into your Photoshop um, and when you open it when you open Photoshop next you will see that you will have a plugin within the filters we go to filters and go down to here, NVIDIA tools, that will be available to you. And then all we're going to do is we're going to open the bump map that we created, the bump map TIFF. Open that in there, go to filter, go down to NVIDIA tools and normal map filter. And it's quite good because it gives you, you can see here, it gives you a detail of what's happening. Set it on four sample and just have a little play around with it. 12 will give you a little bit more of the detail there. If I average out the RGB, it's going to work a bit better. Uh, 3D preview. show you what it's kind of going to look like. Um, not brilliantly I might add. Uh, and then all you do is press OK. And then it turns this into a normal map. And all we do now is I don't want to overwrite this, I just want to save it as. So I'm going to save it as a normal map and save it in there but it is quite good this because you can go up on things like I could I could in, I could put a duplicate layer down and then I could put a multiply or I could put an overlay and it would thicken it up so you can increase the density very easily. Also, you can see where things are getting pushed out or things are getting pushed in by looking straight at the normal map. So it gives you a lot more control over things. So that's normal maps. And what you do to actually put that into Maya, we will do in the next lesson. So just save that out as a normal map.tiff in your source images folder within your project. And I'll see you in the next lesson.